It's Cupcake, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Oasis. So, last time where we left off, I was working on my living room. I did a little more work, and I added some lights. I added some ceiling lights. I added pictures, rug, or, yeah, rug. I always get confused between carpet and rug. This is a rug. Um, lights, tables, um, couches and lamps. So I really think this is starting to come along nicely. I used a little bit more glowstone for the corners here, but I really like the way it looks. Uh, what do you guys think? And now I get to sit in my uh, beautiful living room by myself, you know, just chilling, just chilling. I wish I had a family. Wish I had a family to sit with me. Um, I do want to, um, see about getting uh, Minecraft Comes Alive, and then maybe I can have everyone just come on over and live here. I, you know, I really do need, I need friends to live in this house. <laughs> I can make more bedrooms and we can live a happy life together in this big oasis. Um, I also added some more lights up here and got rid of some torches. So um, what I'm gonna do right now is actually I'm gonna go I have not been keeping or upkeeping my, oh, that's not mine, right? No, you're not mine. Get out of here. How come they keep spawning up here? Get, get out of here. Um, I need to upkeep my farm. It's been a long time since I've been up here, but I actually found out that, and um, I'm going to show you guys in a minute when I finish doing this. Um, I was looking a little bit more into the mods and what I can make and everything and I, I didn't even realize that I can make, um, I guess they're just like rolls of hay, hay bales I think is what they're called. So I think I want to add them up here just for some added, uh, ambiance. Ambiance? Is that the right word? Textures? Um, so let me just go ahead and show you guys how it looks. Let's well, do I have a, I don't, yes, I do have a crafting bench. Okay, so all it is is just a bunch of wheat um, like this. And there is a haystack. I don't know why I said hay bale. I don't know if that's really what it is. But um, I've never placed one down, so let's just go ahead and let's place it down, I guess. I guess we can place it down right here. Can't we? No. Why can't we? Why can't we place it down? Is it just like, just for looks? You can't, that's so weird. Maybe it has to be on dirt. Let's see, unsoiled dirt. I'm not sure, honestly. I'm gonna to take this with me um, when I go down and we're gonna go like mess around with it on the unsoiled dirt. I'm not sure, uh, honestly, where I can place it. I hope you can place it, maybe. I would think it'd have to be like near a farm on the unsoiled dirt because that's where usually the hay bales or the hay stacks lay. I hope that we can or we can just use it to stack our hay, but I don't I don't know. I, w I really hope that it has a use to be laid down. So I'm going to collect my melons and my pumpkins and the other day when I was trying to breed the horses, I didn't realize that I was giving them jack-o'-lanterns. Um, they, they're supposed to be just normal pumpkins, so um, we can go breed our horses again. <laughs> I totally just overlooked it and was just like, derp, derp, why aren't they breeding? Derp, derp, derp. That's just me, you know. Sometimes I just overlook stuff, but it's all good. Um, so I am going to, let's go down. And I'm going to go into the kitchen today and I'm going to make a couple little meals for us. So it is summertime and um, you know, we need something really refreshing to drink. So I want to make myself a melon smoothie. And the way that we make that is we grab our melon. So we're gonna have a melon. Actually, I need to, <laughs> I don't have any of, I don't have a snowball near where, uh, I need a snowball to make a melon smoothie, but it's all right. We have our horse right here. Oh, where are you going? You just left us. You just left us now. Come here. Come here. I need to 
There we go. Okay, so we have our horse. We can just fly anywhere we want. And there is a snowy area nearby, so I can just collect some um, snowballs really quickly because um, we're going to need it to make our smoothie. And we're going to make a melon smoothie. That sounds delicious. I'm going to have a little meal because you see my hunger bars are just a little bit low. So let's go ahead and... Mm, Get closer to the ground and shift. There we go. Good thing I have a shovel. So we are just collecting some snowballs. I'm gonna just collect a bunch just in case I want more melon smoothies later on. Ooh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so that seems good to me. Let's go ahead and fly back. I love this because, oh, look at the baby tiger and it's, and it's baby. Oh, I haven't seen any bunnies recently. Baby donkey, baby horsey, oh and baby bunnies, but still no freaking cat. I need my black cat and I wanna breed my cats. And I think you breed them by giving them cake. Some of you guys said that you've seen Luna. Um, but honestly, like uh, since I did do work on the house, she's probably not where you guys had seen her. She's probably somewhere else, but I'm just gonna do just a quick little fly around over here. See if I see anything and you know what we'll do? We'll, we'll stop by right here. We'll stop by and we'll give these horses um, a pumpkin to break, to mate. There you go. That works. And they're not mating because my horse is nearby. Hey, where are you going? Don't fly away. Come on. No, don't fly away. He's just like messing with me. He's like, oh, oh can you reach me? Okay, wait. So are they? Oh my God, those goats are fighting. Where are they? Were they fighting? He was totally like knocking him. Could have sworn I seen that. Please tell me you guys seen that. He was like ramming him with his head. Okay, so I'm gonna go back home and we're gonna make ourselves a nice summer uh, meal. Let's go ahead and put our horse back in our amulet. There we go. Where'd it go? Here it is. Okay. And I'm not going to accidentally put my horse in the wall again. Okay, so we're gonna make ourselves a delicious melon smoothie. And where are all my glasses? Where in the world? I need to make more glasses. That's not, I have a lot of glass still. Here we go, okay. So I'll make some glasses so that I can store away, I didn't mean to throw that, so I can store away in my cupboards. So next time I wanna make something that requires glass, I can do it. So let's just make some glasses. Um, I'm just gonna do a stack, a bunch of them. So we have nine glasses. And uh, you know what? I think I have, yeah, I have everything. So we need a melon, the glass, and a snowball. Oh, we made melon juice, but we wanna make a melon smoothie. So we're gonna add a snowball. Yay! Yummy, yummy, in my tummy. I don't want to make too many because then I'll have to like store them all away. I just want to have a nice meal right now. And you know what? I'm going to store away my snowballs. I have this food anyways in here <laughs> that I haven't eaten, that I made. Uh, but I think... There's my glasses, dang it. I think that food may be bad. But you know what? I'm going to store... I have a bunch of... Uh, bunch of stuff. I'm going to throw my apple in there because it doesn't really need to be refrigerated because it's a golden apple. It's a special apple. And I'm going to place these glass bottles up here so next time I need them. So now I'm going to make myself, I'm going to put this away and I'm going to make a yummy, yummy fruit salad with this melon smoothie. So I'm going to need my cutting board. So we're getting real here. We're getting real. My cutting board is right here. And I'm going to need, I have melons, and I'm going to need an apple and a bowl. So I don't think I have any bowls. I'm going to have to make those. Actually, I don't even know how to make one. <laughs> oh, it's just so simple. Okay, well, let's grab our wood again. I think our wood is upstairs. Um, I could just make that into, oh, no, here. We can use the palm wood. Or I hope it works with the palm wood. It may only work with... There we go. Okay, so now we have bowls. And uh, I'm gonna grab my apple and we're gonna make a fruit salad. And you know what, this is gonna be, we're making the meal for tomorrow morning because 
Um, the sun is already setting. We're going to have to sleep. And let's go ahead and put our cutting board, our bowl down here, our melon up here, and our apple right there. There's our delicious fruit salad. I'm only going to make one. I don't know how much it's going to actually how it's gonna if it's gonna actually get me full so we'll figure we'll see that once we eat it in the morning and i'm gonna place my apple and my where did i put my melons there's my melons <laughs> quotes from cupquake where did i put my melons okay so i'm going to um let's go sleep and then we'll come down and we have we'll have a meal ready for us hello ham ham we'll have a meal ready for us to go i really need to uh revamp this room it looks pretty sad <laughs> it's a pretty sad room it's not glitzy and glammy at all there's no rug so my feet are so cold when i get up in the morning um okay so now we can eat our breakfast and i'm just gonna sit at the table right here and um let's grab our fruit salad and our melon smoothie and i'm going to eat my fruit salad here we go Mmm, breakfast and melon smoothie. <gasps> yes! That was delicious. It gave me full, full hunger. I should probably do this. I should really do this like each episode. Just have a meal that I eat and I actually sit down. Because I like it. I, I mean, I'm not going to spend, you know, the whole episode making different foods and then never eating them. Uh, so I really like that. So now we have our meal to start us off on our journey. And I don't know what our journey is going to be, but uh, I think I think today I want to go mining. Uh, I know I go mining. It hasn't been. It's been a while since I went mining, but like always, I'm I'm gonna just mine, try to find. I really want to find some fossils, and then I want to. I will. Oh wow! Look how big my saber tooth is. You're such a big boy. Hi. Hello. I don't want him to follow me because I don't want him to die. I just want him to, I just want him to stay there. And have these horses breeded, bred yet? Have they bred? Yay! There's a baby horse. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna go. You know what? Let's check this hay bale or this haystack. If we can even place it down, can we even place it down? What the heck? Where am I? I don't even. I don't know. That makes me really sad, because I wanted it for decoration. Dang it. Oh well, all right, well, I'm gonna, you know what, I should put this pumpkin. I'm gonna just place the pumpkin down right here so that whenever I do wanna breed them, I'll just grab this pumpkin, so there. And I'm gonna throw the seeds because we need as much room in our inventory as we possibly can get. And I'm gonna go for a ride on my magical horse. I'm on a horse. Oh, you know what, actually, have you guys seen that Old Spice commercial? Uh, where it's the guy who, it's the Old Spice guy. Always the Old Spice guy and he, he says he's on a horse backwards and he's like, I'm on a horse, like randomly. Uh, I met him. Um, it was at a E3 after party and, um, okay, wait, so I'm looking for a place to mine. This is what I'm doing. Let's go mine kind of far away just because I feel like I don't even know where I went to mine that other time, but I had a big cave going on. I didn't even know that there was palms over here. This is like the desert. Ooh, hey, there's a lot of stuff in there. Um, but yeah, uh, Red and I met him. It was pretty awesome. Whoa, look at these big trees. <gasps> Holy crap. How come I've never been over here? This is amazing. These are big redwood trees. I would love to have a house in this. Um, actually, this brings me to, sorry, I had like a, okay, you know what? I'm gonna go mining down here because this area seems nice. Let's get off our horse and I'm gonna put my horse away. We're gonna take her down with us. And I have a bunch of torches with me, so just in case. Oh, I already hear a zombie. So I'm gonna light up this area um, because this is our entrance and exit. So uh, when I come up here, I wanna make sure that um, there's like no monsters present. Um, but this this area, this big redwood tree area, 
um, brought me to, I kind of like paused in thought because I did mention to you guys that I have a, another series uh, in the works. We're actually creating the artwork for it right now. And uh, it's going to be a collab uh, Minecraft series. So um, I'm really excited about it. And I, okay, so I'm just looking for fossils right now. Um, and if I don't find any, uh, then I'm not going down. I think here we go. We got a good, good little area right here. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm like I'm really excited about this new series, and um, it's another girl, another girl Minecrafter. I've never had a series um, with another another girl, and I'm really excited. She is. I've known her for about six or seven years now. And um, she's also a YouTuber, and that's all I'm gonna say. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, uh, you know, I don't wanna give away too much info because we're we're just still kind of want it to be a surprise for everyone. But uh, we're gonna create a series together, and it's gonna be like I'm I'm really whoa that was a quick death. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm just ah shit! <laughs> you scared me. You freaking creep! Oh my god, I'm so sorry for yelling in your ear. Oh my god, attack of the creepers? What the heck? Why are there so many creepers down here? And why are there so many skeletons? Is there a skeleton spawner? There has to be. Oh my god. I got so scared. That was so scary. I legitimately got scared, guys. I'm so sorry for screaming in your ear. Hopefully the editing, uh, I can make it not pierce your ear. But anyways, like I was saying, um, I'm super excited for this new series. And I'm still going to, uh, I think there is a skeleton spawner around here, which is good because I want, I want the bones and I want their arrows because I, oh my gosh, creeper, what are you doing? Why are you, why is there so many? I've never seen so many creepers, like ever in this whole series just one after another after another i should have brought like a cat with me so i can have him watch my back while these creepers just explode and stuff um but yeah i'm really excited it's the first time i'm gonna have a series with another female minecrafter just another female female gamer in general um is exciting because i know like and and her and i we get along um, I know it's really hard to find, is that a zombie? It's really hard to find girls, girlfriends that you get along with. But you know what? I, I hear this all the time and I don't know if it's just, just, you know, a girl thing, but I hear this from like every single girl, every single girlfriend, uh, that I have ever had always, always says that it's hard to have, you know, girlfriends. Girls are so catty. Uh, girls are so gossipy. They're always so mean. And this is every single girl, guys. Um, and I always think, like, why? Like, why is that? Like, why does every single girl feel this way? And I, I felt that way before, too. Uh, and it's just like, I felt like, oh, they're so judgmental. I don't, I don't like having, you know, not that I don't like having girlfriends, but it's hard to find girlfriends that you can actually trust, that you consider your friends, which is true. But I think that if you go in with that mindset, you know, trying to, trying to make fr girlfriends, if you go in with that mindset that girls are so catty, they're always gossipy, um, I can't trust them. I think if you go in with that mindset, then you're never gonna, you're never going to find, you know, a real, real awesome girlfriend because there are, I mean, pretty much there are a lot of really awesome girls and sometimes it's just mis miscommunication. Um, I know that like, I know guys, if they have a problem, they will say something and they will talk it out and that is it. That's done. They they worked out their problems and then they move on. But with girls, it's kind of like you you don't say anything or 
you start thinking that they are doing things against you or to get you mad and you never talk about it. And then, uh, you know, different thoughts come into your head and your opinion changes about them when in reality they haven't really done anything wrong. And you should have probably said something, talked it out, um, and then and then that that would be it. And then you work you work out your problem. But that's that's what I feel like is one of the big big problems um, with females in general is just communication because we communicate differently than males. To, let's let's be honest. Um, we are kind of more nonverbal than men. If you have a boyfriend or a brother or even a guy friend and uh or if you are a guy and you have you know a girlfriend you just like i just don't understand what are you trying to say it's like yes means no and no means yes it's all about the nonverbals. so just listen to like their body language sometimes even red has said this to me multiple times my husband is red he's <laughs> he always says to me just be straightforward with me like don't try to beat around the bush. Like, tell me yes if you mean yes and no if you mean no. Like, don't, like, play these games. When in reality, I'm not really trying to play a game. I'm just communicating differently. Um, but yeah, I don't know how I got on this uh, subject, but it's really interesting. And back to the beginning of what I was saying um, about the whole girlfriend stuff, friends that are girls. Um, just try to communicate with them and don't hold, what are they, grudges? They're called grudges, right? Don't hold grudges against them. If you if you have something on your mind, you should really probably say something. And if they're really a friend, then they'll understand what you're saying and you guys will work it out. Um, and believe me, I was one of those, I was one of those girls in high school who were just like, I have more guy friends than girlfriends. I just get along better with guys. They're just easier to get along with and they aren't drama, blah, 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 blah. But um, if you go in with that whole, you know, like I was saying before, if you go in with that mindset of all girls are drama, I'm just gonna keep my distance from them, then uh, you're kind of just setting yourself up to not have any real good girlfriends. And let me tell you guys, it is awesome. I, more recently, I have started to um, get more girlfriends because I feel like now, you know, I'm older and I can decide if I want if I want to hang out with this person, if I really like their personality, do I want to hang out with them? I, then if I do, yes, then I will. And if I don't, then I don't have to be forced to and I'm not going to and I just I'm not going to talk to you. Um, you know, because when I was... Uh, well, in high school, I was just like, well, I'm going to be friends with everybody. But it doesn't it doesn't have to be like that. You can you can respect everyone and you can be nice to everyone, but it doesn't necessarily you have to be friends with everyone. You can pick and choose your friends and, um, you know, the people you hang out with. I heard this um, this saying recently, the five people that you hang out with uh, most 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 frequently are you, are you basically it's how you start to you start to uh, adapt some of their personality traits and um, the people you hang out with are you um, so that's pretty interesting and I find I find it really interesting now because it is so true I it started to uh, you know take some traits from other friends now we uh, other friends have started to like, say things that I say or that Red says. Oh, hello, Creeper. Hello. Back off. Back off. I'm going back up. I don't know why I'm going up. I should probably go back down. But I don't see any more little cave opportunities. But yeah. So, point being, when you are going to make a friend, and this is actually another, uh, another, TED Talk. I know I talked to you guys about this uh, a couple episodes ago, but um, I watched this one. It's the TED Talks Life Hacks. It's on Netflix. It's like eight episodes of different life hacks. 
um, that you can apply to life. And there's there are tons there are ton and ton and tons of TED talks. I have only just barely watched like five of them, but I'm already in love. I can just like sit there and watch them. They're really educational. Some of them are just really amazing stories. Um, but uh, there was this one episode that I watched. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back up to the surface and I'm gonna try to find another area to find because I don't want to have to dig and search for a cave. So let's go up. Are there any monsters near? No, there are not. Where are all of them? Where's all of the mods? I feel like we're lacking in the in the the mod department here. That was not painful at all. That was such a good mining session. I should really like. Oh, oh! I didn't even notice that I put a thing on. Um. But yeah. Anyways, where are all of the? Mobs. Maybe they just don't spawn over here. Oh, hello, zombie. Maybe they just don't spawn over here. The, uh, the ones from all of the, the mobs that I, mobs that I have installed. That's weird. Maybe they just don't spawn in this sort of area because I have the, uh, well, there's the dolphin down there. Hmm, huh, that's really weird because I have the plenty of biomes installed. So maybe they don't spawn out here. They only spawn in certain types of biomes. This area is really interesting and it's super magical. I love it. Um, that creeper has a red head. Why does he have a red head? Oh, do they all have red heads? Hmm, that's weird. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna fly back home. Um, back to what I was saying about the Ted talk episode. Uh, there was this lady who was talking about, um, kind of faking your mind into making it because she went through she she was saying that she you know was really prideful oh wow love a bit she was really prideful of her intelligence she was known for being smart she was called gifted in school then she got in a really really bad car accident where she took head trauma she woke up in a um what is it a coma or woke up from a coma um and sh her her IQ went down um, to, I guess, by two, but that was a big deal to her and she had to be taken out of school and all of this. And she basically got her personality stripped away from her, herself, who she defined herself to be. Okay, wait, so where's my compass? Okay, let's go this way. Um, and um, it was a really sad story, but she wanted to go to, you know, she wanted to continue school she went to school, she went to Harvard, and she said that she didn't feel like she belonged there. Oh, Enderman, we gotta kill him. We gotta kill him. Just going. It's a totally deep story, and I have to, I have to kill this Enderman. Come at me. Come on. Come at me. Come at me. I need to kill you. Give me your pearls. They like always glitch out. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Is he on fire still? Where did he go? He teleported away. We were just like, nope, don't want none of this. <laughs> okay, well, let's get back on our horse. Um, so uh, she said that she didn't feel like she belonged um, and she felt like an imposter. And, oh, there's all the mobs. Um, and that she uh, went to her professor one day and said that she couldn't continue and this professor had invested a lot of time into her and she said that the professor told her to fake it. So basically fake your way through and you will be fine. So her whole thing was, and I actually, you know, can apply this to being on camera and, you know, going to E3 events and gaming events, gaming conventions and interviewing people and, um, doing, you know, reviews for certain things. Because when I first did it, uh, I felt like I can't, this isn't me, you know, I'm, I shouldn't be doing this type thing. And her whole story was, well, with school, but you can, I'm sure you guys can apply it to anything really. Um, and she said that if you have a mindset that you want to be something and that you're gonna succeed at something, you will become it and you will succeed. So her whole thing was fake it, not till you make it, but till you become it. And it was really awesome. And it's just like, 
your mindset going into certain things really can change the outcome of your path in life. So it was just some really awesome, um, if you guys have Netflix, I would really highly recommend going and watching this. I'm gonna put these in here. Hopefully we can get an egg because I really want one. Um, we'll put those Rolex scraps in there too. And we got two broken helmets, my gosh. But yeah, it was a TED Talks and it was TED Talk and I think it was called, was that the happiness one? Which one? The TED talk about the girl with the fake it till you make it, fake it till you become it. Oh, that's that's a body language. Oh, it's a body language one. So um, again, that's, that's probably the whole thing where I got talking about reading people's body language and uh, nonverbal communication. That's, that's all interesting to me, but you guys should really go check it out. She explains it a lot better than I did, but um, I just wanted to relay the message to you guys to go check it out and that um, your mindset really does matter uh, in the outcome of where you wanna go. So I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna just throw these away because I have, well, no, we won't. I think the swords are the ones that we need to throw away, but we'll keep the helmets. But yeah. It was just some really good information. You know, I'm sure you guys feel, when you're presented with a challenge, you feel like, oh, I shouldn't be here. I can't do this. But if you fake it, you can do it and you will become it. So it's really crazy. And I kind of feel like it's happening with me also just in the in the gaming industry. Um, not Not being a gamer, because I've always been a gamer. But just the whole, you know, going up to people, interviewing developers, saying, you know, which media outlet I'm with, which I say I'm with IS Cupquake, because um, in, in a sense, YouTube is, is a media outlet. I, I get to reach every single one of you in a different sort of way. And I don't write, you know, I don't write, I'm not a journalist. I don't post blogs, really. And um, it's a new media, which is really awesome. And I'm really happy that people are starting to realize that and realize its potential. So anyways, that is my little rant. Back to the original uh, story of why I started talking about that. A new series. I'm going to uh, make a new Minecraft series really soon with another female who is a really good friend. Uh, like a sister to me and I'm really excited and her and I just get along really awesomely and it, honestly in the in the beginning it was a little rocky I think but we just kind of had to to get over ourselves because we were so similar and it was just overwhelming we weren't used to it but now we're uh we've grown together and we're gonna start a new series together and um I'm really excited um, so, uh, that is, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like roaming around, not doing anything. Maybe we can make ourselves lunch. Let's make ourselves a lunch item because, uh, I do feel a little bit hungry. So let's see, what can we make? A good meal for, I do have some melon juice in the fridge. So I think I'll drink that, but what can we eat? So I think I'm going to eat like a, a burger. Ooh grilled mushrooms stuffed mushrooms i can have a hamburger a cheeseburger bacon burger let's do a chicken sandwich so i'm gonna need a skillet i don't even have one of those i'm gonna need mayo and bread uh okay so how do you even oh why did i do that how do you even make a skillet let's click on this so it's two irons and a stick so i i need i need a skillet anyways because um I don't have one, so, oh, let me grab my iron. Let's grab that. Two irons and a stick, I think it was, was it? I think it was, there we, no, it's a katana, what? Okay, well, I got the katana. I think the skillet, what? How am I not? Two irons and one stick is supposed to be a skillet, but I got a katana instead. That's really weird. What if I do it the opposite way? Oh, I can't get... Okay, maybe it's just interfering. It's the same one. So maybe what I can do is just spawn one in. Um, here it is. 
We got a skillet. Okay. So for our burger, we want a chicken burger is what I want. I'm going to need to make mayo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. So to make mayo is an egg and a glass bottle. We have that. That's pretty easy. So we are learning to cook here. We're, we're getting our cooking skills up. I think our eggs are in the fridge. We have a lot of eggs. This is good. Okay, so let's do an egg and a bottle. It's a, it's a mayo. And I don't want to make a bunch of mayo, but we'll just make one and I'll put my egg back in the fridge. Um, okay, so we have an egg, our skillet. I think we need chicken. I really want to try out the katana. Um, and bread. So do I have raw chicken? Do I have raw chicken? I might have to go kill a chicken right now. It's kind of, I could kill the chicken with my katana. Let's go do that. I'm gonna grab, you know what, before I kill off a chicken though, I'm gonna give it some seeds and we're gonna let it breed one last time. Let's go up. Okay, I'm gonna grab, I think I have the seeds. Where are my seeds? Do I have chicken up here? No. Do there they are. There's some seeds. Okay. All right. So let's go feed some chicken. Let's go breed them. And then uh, we're gonna have to kill them. And I'm gonna use my katana because I can't use my normal sword because it'll cook the chicken, and we don't want that. So here you go. You guys make babies. There you go. Okay. So now I'm gonna kill one of you. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Look at I have a katana. This is so cool. It looks really sharp. It looks dangerous. Okay, so we're gonna kill you. Oh my gosh, it was a one shot. One hit. One hit kill. And I got a chicken out of that. So we're gonna make ourselves a chicken sandwich. And we're gonna we're gonna have ourselves a juice as well. So let's see. The chicken sandwich. Is a skillet? Raw chicken, bread, and mayo. Skillet, raw chicken, bread, and mayo is a chicken sandwich. Yummy! So I'm gonna put my skillet away. We're gonna put it down here with our pots and pans. And uh, I'm gonna grab a drink. We're gonna grab, let's have some carrot juice. Let's be, uh, let's be healthy. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go at my big table. I'm gonna go at my big old dinner table over here. I'm gonna sit down and I'm going to eat my food. So we're going to have our, let's eat our burger first. Mmm. Whoa, that healed us for a lot. And wash it down with some carrot juice. So that is today's episode. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, next time we'll check and see what kind of, uh, if we got any, uh, eggs for our dinos. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Cupquake and I'll see you all later.